unloading corn and into a bin. We were moving corn and taking from one place to the other. 63-year-old Kurt Kayser has been a grain farmer for more than 40 years, but it was one simple mistake that could have cost his life. If I could have got by that first load, unloading, I think I'd have thought of it or seen it, but I was in that routine like I always used to do, and I, I just, I didn't think of it. He says he stepped out of his truck, turned around the corner, and stepped in the hopper in that little hole. It just sucked my leg in, and, and I was trying to pull it out, and it kept pulling. And there was no one around to help. When it first happened, I can remember telling myself, this ain't good. This is not good at all. Kayser couldn't find a cell phone to call anyone, his desperation growing. I, I thought, how long am I going to stay conscious here? Mm -hmm. You know, because I, I didn't know what to expect. And then I felt it jerk me again. I thought, well, I was going in, they're going to grab me and pull me in further. And he was left with just one option. Then I had my pocket knife in my pocket. I thought, well, the only way I'm getting out of here is cut it off. So I just started sawing on it. He amputated his own leg. When I was cutting it, the nerve endings, I could feel them just ping when, every time I, when I'd start sawing around that pipe. And all at once it went and let me go. So I got the heck out of there. He then army crawled 150 feet across the farm to the nearest phone to call for help. I stayed conscious all the way to the hospital. I remember I'm being, being unloaded up here and on life flight. And See, this is really challenging his balance. Now Kayser's healing up, going through therapy at Madonna Rehabilitation Center in Lincoln. He pretty much told me his goal was, I need to get home and get back to what I was doing before, and that his main goal is farming. The front wheels don't turn, the back wheels do. Despite what happened, Kayser's occupational therapist, Danny Willey, says his attitude has been extremely positive. I ain't too bad. Pretty nonchalant about everything that actually happened, like it was no big deal. You it know? is what it is. Make the best of it is all you can do. I mean, it could have always been worse. He was released from the rehabilitation center on Friday. He'll continue healing until he can get a prosthetic leg, but he wants others to learn from his mistake. I paid the price here of being in a hurry and not paying attention, basically. In Lincoln, Naya Gonzalez, KETV News Watch 7.